What's up? What's up? Good afternoon. Good morning. Good night. This is Money Green with Shades in the Mic. We are Lyrics and Lies. And oh, the big boss, the biggest boss of them all. We're talking about Rick Ross. Came out with Port of Miami 2. So what's up, Shades? Let's talk about Gold Roses because it has one of your boyfriends in it. Does it? And your boyfriend definitely isn't Ricky Rose. Your boyfriend is Mr. Drizzy Drake. Drake is your man. You were ready to go to war with Pusha T when you heard that song. You're like, well, he going to catch it from messing with my man. So what's up? Gold okay. Roses. How you feel? You ever received Gold Roses before? I have not. Until this song. Drake. I guess served with them in the song. In this song, Drake served you with, tw- is it 12 gold roses? How many gold roses did he deliver? I, I, I think With it these was... bars. <laughs> with these bars Drake just dropped. How many gold roses did he bars? I mean, he dropped some bars on here. I mean, like really. I think it was a little more than 12, but you know, it was only. He gave you, you know, four dozen? He get 12, 12 um, you know, a dozen. Drake one. gave you four dozen? He might have, because he really dropped some stuff in here. I, I really like this song, you know, when um, Rick Ross, I mean, they do do a lot of little collaborations together, him and Drake. Yeah, they, they, um, they've done several songs. They've done but... several songs, and most of them I pretty much like. My my favorite uh, collaboration is Maybach Music, where he does with Chrisette Michelle and, um, and Drizzy Drake. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share on YouTube at Lyrics and Lies. But... In here, oh yes, the beat. First of all, on this album, Rick Ross is probably the best beat picker of all rappers. You can go from Jay Z to Nas to Fifty Cent to Snoop. Who else? Jada Kiss, Young Jeezy, Kanye. Kanye makes beats. He still ain't the best beat picker. Anybody you pick, the best beat picker is Rick Ross. Drake, Lil Wayne. Who else? Megan, Nicki Minaj. Nobody pick him. He, his beats, I don't know who does all his beats. It was one person, I had to go over the credits, but his beats are always on point. So which what makes this song so tight out the gate is he picked a beat that is right in Drake's wheelhouse. Cause we know Drake can rap fast and he can rap, but this is a nice, smooth, mellow, Marvin's Room type flow yeah. and he gets into this music and Drake weaves his way through every beat every note and he lays those lyrics down lays sh- them down and Shays went and looked the lyrics up so she can keep up and she was just dazzled by the lyrics that Drake dropped so anything out in there that stand out to you? I mean I, the thing what he said and I gotta go back to it cause he said something about some twins or something he said, you keep calling your twin, but twins ain't this different. Mentally, I'm already on the next year. That's some 2020 clear vision. Yeah. What? That's what I'm yeah. talking about. That's what Drake do though. I think Drake is in a good place this year. Um, Cause he's been dropping some, I mean, you know, Drake, I tell you, when you put Drake on, your song is going to be gold. I'm sorry. That's why it's gold roses right here. All right. Gold roses. And we hear you with the play on the words. Right. Being clever and witty with it. But he's having a good year. First of all, the Toronto Raptors, which he's the ambassador of the team. Yeah, he is. Not just a fan, he's the ambassador. He's hired by the organization. Them winning the championship this year, the NBA championship, has him on high. Mm-hmm. Then he's place. the biggest rap artist right now as far as music goes. So he's on high from that. And he's just had success, having success. After the Pusha T stuff, he's just been back on his grind with the music. And being success, he got knocked off, you know, derailed for a hot second. He put the train back on the track and more hot songs, more hot songs. And this song is a prime example of what he can do and he does it effortlessly. Yeah, he does. I wondered if it was in the studio, if he even messed up. What if they had to go, how many takes? You know how sometimes when you listen to a, a rap song or you listen to a rap record, especially if the rapper can spit real fast. Right. You're like, dang, I wonder if they had to do three or four takes. Did he get it right the first time? Or how did they, you know how many times, how many takes 
would have happened for this album. I'm with you. I would love to be in the studio when they start, because I would love to just to know that part. Like, yeah, sometimes he, he does, a, yeah, he, he, he messes up and goes back and, and redoes it, right. which is cool. He, he doesn't do it a lot, I'm sure. I think Jay-Z, they say, is probably the only artist that doesn't do that. He does one take. There's a few other rappers that can do it here and there, but they say Jay is the one take one person. He, so I wonder who's the fastest rapper? Our boy. Uh, Twister, but Chicago, like, um, uh, uh, right up there with him. Um, I'm, I should know this. Cause he's in. He was in school. Um, leaders of a new school. Oh, Buster. 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 Oh no, fast. he can't he mess with no. Buster does some J Jamaican dialect. No, when he did. When he did that song. Um, I know what you're talking Chris about. Brown. Mm -hmm. He. Those are words. Yes, but he can't mess with Twister. He came with buses up there. But I don't know. Do we have some young new ones? I need to, I need to research that. No. I no. think it's a, a one rapper that my son introduced me to. That boy is is fast. Okay. And I got to ask him what his name Logic is. Logic is fast. Logic can flow real fast. Actually, Logic has a Drake flow. And he sounds a lot like Drake. He can get into that Drake mode. He's up. Those two rappers, Logic and Drake, they can get into these flows where it doesn't sound like they're rapping. Sounds like they're talking to you. It's a float, but too. they're just rapping straight, and they're just throwing bars and bars at you, and it just it's like a steady flow. It's like somebody turned on the faucet, and it's just flowing and flowing and flowing. Mm. But Eminem is pretty fast too. Eminem can be fast. Yeah. Eminem can can but be fast. Was... Jay Z used to be super fast. That's what he was known for originally. And uh, out the gate before he got all slick and cool back when Jay Z used to wear Timberlands and jerseys. I can't go for that song. Mm. Yeah, he can. Uh, they say Twister was, I think, the only person above him at that point. It's pretty, pretty. But funny. anyway, yeah, and he did it too on a uh, volume. We gotta find out what happened to Twister. We Twister still out here doing his thing. Yeah, but we have he been low, low key. Yeah, but he's he's out here. He's still doing his thing. P I M P I G. But logically, we know these anyway. Yeah, we getting into it. But anyway, it gets back to. Uh, Gold Roses. Gold Roses. With Rose and Drizzy Drake out of Toronto. But I'm sure you like the song. Yeah, I you like the song. You love the song. I like the song. You love the song. You like <laughs> it or love it? I love the song. All right. All right. And there's some game in there. Drake spit some game telling the story about him and his woman and, and past friends that he was rolling with and everything. And that's cool. And you have... Uh, Rick Ross comes in and he does this thing and, and Drake sings. Well, you know, that's what he does. Drake sings. He got to do his little sing I thing. I always say he's one of the best, one of the top R&B artists. He just needs to come out and do an entire album. Flip he the script. Can. He can. I think I think he does good with singing in his raps. I like it. No, I didn't say anything is wrong with that. I'm saying he needs to come out. We'll see if he does it. I don't think he's going to do he it. Needs, I'm going to tell you what needs to happen in music. Drake needs to record an R&B album. Beyonce needs to record a rap album. Yeah, she can rap. She got it. Erica Badu needs to record a, a rap, rap album. album. Yep. Those are things that need to take place. Who did that? Queen Latifah. Yes, she did. I believe, believe she was the first. Mm -hmm. She came out, rapper, 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 rapper. You know what? I'm going to drop a singing album, the Dana Owens album. Mm -hmm. And it was fly. It was fly. And you know what? When she did um, You and I... You and I, T. Y. Mm -hmm. Okay, when she, and that album, that 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 album really was like one of her big albums. Right. But in that album, she sung a song called "Just Another Day." Yeah. Well, she Sitting rapped. Next, she sung the hook. She sung the hook. But there's right. another yeah. song on there that she sings. Okay. So, that I think that was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that may have prompted it. That may have prompted yeah. it. Yeah, and then she started doing musicals and singing on right. them. Right. She is bad. She's Moves. multi talented. Mm -hmm. But those are things that need to happen. And Drake, he has the power to do that. And he has a fan base to do it. Because he, he he sings that good. But and if it, he goes out on the Remember, he had the song, I Got My Eyes on You. Yeah. And uh, what's the other one? I okay. Know When the Hotline Bling. You didn't like the Hotline Bling. Oh, that was you my like song. All right, Hotline but, but he sung both of those. Those were not rap songs, those were 100% singing. Hotline Bling? Yes. You know that. But that was that you, was all singing. Any Drake, so I, I'm telling you, Drake has not failed me. I pretty much love 
even though everybody talk about he's crying, he's this, and they talk about him terribly, I am been a diehard Drake fan from the beginning. From starter from the bottom and we here. I'm, I'm, I'm here for him. I'm here for Drake. I know you are. I got mostly all the Drake songs on my tablet. Even the songs that people don't care for, I don't like. I like Drake songs. I know you do, but I'm just saying Highline Bling was a... Oh, yeah, a, I love Highline Bling. Uh, uh, if if my, my son would tell you, I play Highline Bling to death. Yeah, but I've been saying that as a blues song. Yeah, and that was on my ringtone. Yeah, yeah but I'm, that's what I'm saying. He sung those two songs, and I believe both of those went number one. He can do an R&B album. All he has to do is do nine to 12 songs, put that out there, blow everybody away with that, and then get right back into rap. And like, yeah, I showed y'all what can. It's just opening up everything to show people all of your talent. Yeah. Just, I would love to see that too. And I would love to see Erica Badu yeah. do a rap. I yeah. would love to see that. It's getting kind of late for her. She needs to hurry up and do it. Yeah, I think she should go ahead and do that. I think that would be real good if she do it. Um, who else did you mention who should do a rap? Beyonce. Beyonce, yeah. Beyonce. Because when she did that, Beyonce on your mouth like Lekka. I, I mm -hmm. like that little... Uh, and she, you know, she right. did a little rap in that. It's like, oh, Beyonce, you did, you did all right. She did, she did a couple of raps here and there. She but. did some raps in, in some songs. There's another song that I can't remember. Her and, I think it was Daddy Somebody, who's the uh, Latin. Daddy Yankee. That, yeah, they did something too, so. Yeah. That was a good song as well. And Rick Ross, after Drake does his singing. The mellow rapper. Rick Ross comes in and he delivers bars. And he does his thing. Maybach music, you know, getting that groove on. I like some of the people he threw in there. He had Wale in there too. Well, I'm talking just just this just this song. Oh yeah, this song. But uh, he spit bar after bar, and he doesn't go super hard. Mm -mm. But he's this giving you he's giving you Ross in here, mm -hmm. and uh, and the rhymes are tight. The rhymes are solid, and uh, just just big ups to them on this album, on this song. This song actually closes the album. Which lets you know how good it is. It's the uh, the grand finale. So big ups to them. Big ups to Gold Roses. Like Shay says, Wale is on this album. Nipsey Hussle's on here. Young mm -hmm. Jeezy. Yeah. Young Jeezy is one of my favorites. And uh, Rick, yeah, Rick Ross does it again. And uh, yeah, did this big ups to him and much success on Port of Miami too, because Port of Miami, the original, that's the one that. You know, it's a uh, debut album. That's the one that put him on the mat with pushing it and every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Yeah, yeah. And I put him out there. And I want to see how well this um, album does and see how much they promote it and push it out. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it for us, Lyrics and Lies. Delivering gold roses to shades. That's what we're about. And we deliver that stuff to y'all. I'm Money Green with... Shades on the mic and listen to them lyrics. Yeah, check out. Check out the lyrics, man. Check out Drake in his pocket and Ross in his pocket. Yes. Lyrics and lies.